My name is Tanya Curry, and this is an election case study of the top 10 political parties in South Africa. They include statistics on the ANC, EFF, DA, 1SA, IFP, Action SA, Freedom Front Plus, Patriotic Alliance, The Good Party, PAC, UDM, ACDP, COPE, and Aljama. When you put these five, these 10 political parties against each other by volume, so what are people saying about those parties? Almost 60% of the conversation belongs to the ANC, 21% to the EFF, and we know how well they do on Twitter, and 7.9% belongs to the DA, coming very, very close to um, one SA at 6.4%. And that's probably also because there's constant reference of Mayamani coming from the DA. And the balance is the balance of the top 10. A very small amount of data focuses on any other political party. We analyzed almost just over 60,000 results in a month. And it's fascinating to see that when you put them over time, the only one that ever rises above the ANC narrative is the EFF. And that is often when they're slinging mud and when they are putting out vitriolic messages with a bunch of EFF supporters on Twitter that create this massive red tide that we see every now and again surface above the green line of the ANC. If you want to know why that is, why the ANC is always at the top, we look at reach versus engagement. The ANC coming in with about 36,000 um, results directly related to their in- electioneering, but they also come in with a very large reach. So they're putting their stuff in mainstream media or mainstream media is likely more likely to write about them than anybody else. And then if we look at engagement, so so that's one thing about where you're placing your media. I mean, the rest of the parties on their reach and engagement are very, very small. Um, in fact, uh, almost all of them sit on the very bottom of the x-axis when it comes to their reach and engagement efforts on social media. Um, over the, the period, 408,000 people engaged on those 62,000 sets of messages. So the market really wants to talk about it. And during this time, you'll see again that the ANC dominates the conversation, largely because we're so angry. And then the EFF every now and again peaks above the green line. But that's purely because they are social media savvy. The share of engagement go is looks even worse. I mean, we've got half of the conversation focusing on the ANC, almost 20% on the EFF, and just over 10% on the DA, and then everybody else. So, I mean, when you put that statistic together, you're looking at a good 80 85% of our political electioneering conversation being focused on the top three which is not how it should be if you are one of the smaller parties, or as we call them, none of the above, nota. We also have a look at the sentiment of the big three. I mean, out of the big three, the ANC has almost one in three negative comments every time they open their mouths, right? So that's a third of the ANC's coverage. The EFF are gunning for a quarter, So about one in four of their messages um, from the social media platform has a negative connotation to the party. And the DA have a 20% negative sentiment bias. So about one in every 10 uh, is against the DA. When we look at the net sentiment, obviously that shows the DA as the better party, but still coming in at minus 50% on the negative sentiment ratio. ANC sitting at minus 63%. So if we drop and mute those top three and take the next top three in line, which is 1SA, IFP and Action SA, we see something very positive. 1SA has, and Musi Maimani has a very positive sentiment and quite a, um, a relative neutral sentiment as well. The IFP have the predominantly negative sentiment, almost 40%, and that's largely because 
they didn't use Butelezi as their um, campaign uh, a hero. We, we're sitting with a person whose name we don't know and um, where most people associate the IFP with Butelezi regardless of his age. And he should, I mean, if anything, what he stands for should be put at the forefront of their, um, their campaigning. Action SA comes in with more positive than they do negative, uh, 9.6% versus 7.7%. So their marketing strategy is looking quite good, although small. And then if we start looking into the regions, I mean, we look at Gauteng and it is painted green by the ANC. Once we start getting to the smaller areas of Gauteng, you'll start seeing the EFF dominating some of the conversations. But when we move to Cape Town, it's so interesting that the DA features as the smallest out of the big three. I mean, the ANC and EFF account for probably a good 80% of the conversation in the Western Cape. Now, as a small party, here's my advice. Take one action, make it a big story, do some good with it, and even if you don't win, you'll have left a good legacy. And that, my friends, is PR 101. I'm Tonya Curry, and this is the election case study for the forthcoming elections.